Okay, so a couple of videos ago I made this I made this character called Flannel Man. He's a superhero and he fights crime using his flannel of truth. Okay, um and he's wearing all flannel obviously. But I made I think I I kind of made a mistake with that video and that I I confused flannel with plaid. Plaid is this texture with the crisscross and lines. Flannel is like this sort of material that's made of cotton and it's made to keep you warm. This is really hot by the way, anyways. But it is very confusing because there are a lot of flannel things that have the plaid pattern. Why is it so? Here, I'll read you this excerpt. Years ago in 1600 year Scotland, to battle for the throne in the Tartan Kingdom, led the rockled and tough plaid warriors up against the flannelled and forces. The war rivalry was unparalleled. But alas, in the midst of some enskelling battle, Ot Khan, the treasured and legendary garment that would combine the two forces, flannel pajamas, which seemed like a divided land, became yin one a pointy pure class that held base the plaid pattern within the comforts of a panel texture. There existed a fresh born yin that would carry on for years and years to come. Actually, uh, not really. Uh, Wales and Scotland in the 17th century, farmers would, would wear wool shirts to keep warm. And it, they would just happen to put on the, uh, what is it called? The tartan pattern. Um, because they were from Wales and Scotland. And the tartan pattern is basically plaid. I don't, is there a difference? Tartan is a patterned cloth consisting of crisscross horizontal and ver vertical bands in multiple colors. Yeah, that sounds like plaid to me. Anyways, it was just a, it just became associated. Okay. So in summary, I'm sorry, but it is a mistake that anybody can make. I think. Oh, and by the way, if you want to be able to speak with a spot a, a Scottish a Scottish accent, if you want to be able to speak with a Scottish accent, uh, I use this. English to Scottish translator, because I would not have been able to sound Scottish on my own. Here's me trying to sound Scottish on my own. There, look at the bounty, look at the, look at the bounty of lands and, oh, look at the, look at the, sh uh, the, fa the sheep and the farms. It's fa these lands stretch back years and years and years, centuries ago. Do you, do you like? Do you like my kilt? Oh my god, I hate it. See, I can't say, do you like my kilt in Scottish? But with the, with the English to Scottish translator, it tells me, do you like my kilt? I would highly recommend this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm sorry for the, for the, for the flannel thing. Yeah.